Live from Town Square Towers at the heart of the Jersey Shore, wake up with Jeremy Grunin. Get up, get out, do something. Join the conversation, 732-505-1160. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Listen online at WOBMAM.com. Hey, welcome back. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. 709, Wednesday, May 18th, 51 degrees, going up to 59 today. WOBMAM 1160 and 1310 News Talk Radio, streaming live on the radio pop app and WOBMAM.com. 732-505-1160 to join the conversation. Oh, I'm the joy. Uh, I'm the joint. And the conversation now turns to Dr. Adam Repol, OBGYN at Community Medical Center. And in the spirit of full transparency and full disclosure, one of my best friends. Hey, Adam, how are you? I'm sorry. Hey, Dr. Repol, how are you? Good morning, Jeremy. How are you today? Uh, I am fantastic. It's so good to see your smiling face uh, I, across I appreciate from me. that. Across from me. And smiling, of course, because the, uh, the Mets had a nice victory. How about as, those Mets, huh? As, uh, as Thor uh, did the job he, last night, he right? He did. Yeah. You know, it, they're your Mets, too, you know, Jerry. Uh, oh, as a Yankee fan, I am. Uh, I have strongly considered in, in over the last two years, um, you know, changing allegiances. Switch, I'm a, switching sides, huh? I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a New York fan is what it comes now, now, listen, I know this is controversial, but I it, when the Yankees aren't any good, I do root for the Mets, good right? Deal. When... When the Jets aren't any good, which is every year, then I have to turn to the Giants. And in recent years, I've had to find another team altogether. Um, That's true. Rumor the, has it, though, you did you you were seen at a New York Mets playoff game last I, year. I was. We did. That was a lot of fun. We did go to the Mets uh, playoff game last year, uh, and uh, uh, I did enjoy myself. And I did get caught up in the in the rapture of the event. The fervor. It was uh, it was fantastic. So so Doc, let's. But it's not about me. Let's talk about you. <laughs> Enough about me. What let's, do you think about me? <laughs> uh, that's right. Let's talk instead about you. So why don't you tell folks you are um, you're you're a, you're an OBGYN, and, and the question I always ask is, you know, when you were when you were in medical school and you said that you wanted to be a doctor, right? How does one settle on their specialty? How does what 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 kind of what is the motivation? What's the inspiration that says this is the route I want to go? So you want to get into my head. What was my thought process? Uh, I don't want to be too deep into your head, okay. but yeah. So, you know, the first two years of medical school are, are basic sciences. You have to go through biochemistry, anatomy, physiology, histology, pathophysiology, pharmacology. And then the second two years are, are your clinical rotations in medical school. And, <clears throat> I, and you rotate through certain basic uh, Parts of medical uh, of uh, certain specialties: general surgery, internal medicine, pediatrics, and OBGYN is one of them. And you know, when I <clears throat> got to my OBGYN portion of uh, of my uh, rotations, I found that it was the best balance for me of medicine and surgery, which really OBGYN incorporates both of them. Uh, you know, it, it's for the most part a very happy part of medicine. You're delivering babies, bringing new life into the world. Uh, you take. <laughs> I said you were going to say that. I said to Zach, I'm like, he's going to say something about, ah, I want to bring life and right. babies. Well, but, yeah. but it also, you know, from a, from a point of view of what I enjoy working with my hands, I enjoy doing surgery. And so that's a major part of my uh, practice as well. So it, it really, for me, incorporated the elements of medicine that I personally enjoy. And I've been doing it down here in Tom's River and Lakewood for 22 years now. Right. Now, so you were part of, uh, you were part of Kimball for a long time. How long were you at Kimball? Well, uh, you and your group. Uh, well, I, I started at the practice in 1994. My group had been there. Uh, well, if I, if I really want to go back in the timeline, the first doctor in my group was Dr. Gold, who came into the area in 19, late 1950s, 58, 59, joined with Dr. Halpern in 1962, and they were delivering babies at Kimball Medical Center. Then new partners joined. My partner, Dr. Fabricant, joined in 1967. They merged with Dr. Lillian and Calvetto in 1970, and then Dr. Coco came in 1975. Dr. Molina came in 1986. Dr. Lanus and I came in 1994. And Dr. Cahill came uh, in, I think, a few years later, 97, 98, and now. And, and so I personally was delivering babies at, at Kimball for 20 years until the labor unit was closed. Now, 
That was an economic decision made by Barnabas to consolidate their obstetrics into one venue, it, it, which was Community right. Medical Center, right. which we are at now, right now. And uh, we merged uh, with another group at Kimball, and we incorporated. We're, we're actually a very unique practice right now. We're part of Barnabas Health Medical Group. Right. And my, <clears throat> we're part of what's called a collaborative practice. We have five nurse midwives, five obstetricians, and two gynecologists. So what happens with our obstetric patients is that they, they are seen by our midwives and doctors. We collaborate on their care. And I think for our patients, it's a wonderful experience because they can have a midwife, midwifery experience. And when I say midwifery experience, you know, if they want an unmedicated birth, uh, they want to have less intervention, uh, they have every ability to do that. But with the knowledge and the, I guess, <clears throat> the fact that they know there's a doctor there to take care of any problems that might occur during their labor process. So I think it's a, it's a, it's a great model. I think there are going to be a lot of other practices that are going to be adopting it. We're the only one in the area that has this and offers this right, right. now. So I think it's a great opportunity for our patients. Right. Midwifery sounds dirty on some level, though. I don't. It just sounds. Uh, it sounds sounds like uh, something that. Uh, you know, that uh, would happen to me after a Mexican meal or something. I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, you know, saying that after a big burrito. I, anyway, uh, but we're moving. And by the way, Phil Brilliant, uh, who is a mutual friend of ours, uh, uh -huh. he just chimed in that he, uh, he really believes that uh, you chose uh, your uh, current, uh, your, your, your line of practice based on your super soft hands. Uh, I, uh, because I do, you're a good, you can catch. I do moisturize. Yeah. Right. Well, and that's and it's, it's, uh, it's important because I scrub, you know, all the time. Got to got to keep the hands soft. Right. It's it's that's important. And so, well, listen. So it's a very uh, it's a very interesting practice that you have, and I know that you've um, that that you've also you also have a very interesting uh, clientele. You kind of run the gamut on on who you guys uh, see. Um, but what I'd like to talk about when we come back, right, is I'd like to understand because I f I consider myself somewhat of an expert on uh, childbirth, having gone through the process three times. And I was awake through at least two of them. Uh, and, and <laughs> did did so, you have epidurals through uh, all of them? I, uh, no, I, I did not have a, uh, a sympathy epidural. But, <laughs> but my perception is, and we're going to talk about this when we get back, my perception is that the nurse spends 98.2% of the time with, <laughs> uh, with uh, the expectant mommy. And then the doctor comes in, catches the baby, gives the high fives, gets the kudos, and goes back out. So I want to talk about that when we get back because there's an interesting dynamic at play there, and I want you to, I want you to either defend uh, your fellow doctors <laughs> or tell us the real truth. Dr. Adam Repol, OBGYN, Community Medical Center, back after this. Rush Limbaugh today at noon. More Wake Up with Jeremy Grunin coming up next. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Now. Back to Wake Up with Jeremy Grunin. News Talk Radio WOBM AM 1160 and 1310 and WOBMAM.com. Hey, welcome back. Wake Up with Jeremy Grunin. We are here with Dr. Adam Repol, OBGYN, Community Medical Center. So uh, so I left you with a cliffhanger here because I want to understand all the work done by the <laughs> nurses, all the glory for the doctor. Talk to me about that. What's, what's that all about? Well, you know, I've got to tread uh, very lightly here. Mr. Grunin, you know, you and I are both married to nurses, as you're well That's aware. That's true. Different nurses. And you, well, yeah. different, not the yes, same nurse, right. different nurses. Your, your wife uh, has been a labor and delivery nurse. She has. Okay. Yeah. My wife is a pediatric nurse. And <clears throat> I think, you know, it, it, I could not do my job without the support of uh, the nursing staff in labor and delivery, postpartum, uh, you know, in, in the uh, nursery, the special care nursery in pediatrics, which are, you know, there are, to me, they're worth their weight in gold. They're, <coughs> they're, they're great nurses. They make my job tremendously easier. And I will tell you that they do spend a vast majority of time with the patients because uh, it's very hard for me to, you know, as right. an obstetrician, your, your time is divided between the operating room, between the labor and delivery room and the office. So you're, you're sometimes pulled in many directions. Uh, you try to spend as much time with the laboring patient as possible, but invariably, 
you know, you have more than one laboring patient at a time, and, and the nurse is there to be the, the primary uh, caretaker of that patient in labor and, and to let the physician or midwife know when you're needed, you know, when, you're, right. when, you, when you need to be there to, to intervene, take care of things. Uh, so, you know, it, you have an experienced labor and delivery nurse. They can tell you exactly what's going on, and they can make your life tremendously easier. I, I'll be honest. I, I, you know, I respect them all, and I, and I think they're all wonderful. Um, I, I will tell you, just as a matter of fact, that in April of 2016, yes, all of the maternal child health services, which include labor and delivery, women's health, special care nursery, nursery, and pediatrics, at Community Medical Center, received the Excellence in Caring Award, wow. which is a very prestigious uh, uh, award. <clears throat> and I give congratulations and kudos to all the nursing staff who rightfully and justfully deserve that award. Absolutely. Yeah. That was, look at you. You're such a team player. I am a team player. You are, uh, so, so. There is you, no I in team. No, there, no, there's a, no, <laughs> no. There is a me, though. There there's is a, a me. There's a me. There's a me. Uh, a backwards okay. backwards me. <laughs> All right, good. So listen, when we get back, right, because it's amazing how time flies here, right, when you're having fun. Uh, so when we get back, uh, I do want to talk. Uh, we, we do have some other things to discuss, right? Because there's some new things happening in your practice. Correct. Right, that we want to talk about. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we want to talk about your take on the whole uh, Barnabas-Robert uh, Wood merger. Absolutely. Right? And, uh, you know... We know we can also talk about some of the most interesting things that you've taken out of a uh, person. No, <laughs> Not, uh, we could table that. Okay, we'll, ta we'll table that for another time. All right, wake up with Jeremy Grunin and Dr. Adam Repol. <laughs> we'll be back after this. The news never stops at WOBMAM.com. Get the latest from WOBM News, the Town Square, New Jersey News Network, and Fox News Radio. Wake up with Jeremy Gronin. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Live from the Jersey Shore to the world. Get up, get out, do something. Wake up with Jeremy Gronin. Take the show wherever you go. Download the free Radio Pup app for your smartphone or tablet. Join the conversation, 732-505-1160. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Listen online at WOBMAM.com. Hey, welcome back. 734, wake up with Jeremy Grunin. Wednesday, May 18th, 51 degrees, getting up to 59 today. Uh, hope you're listening to us on WOBMAM 1160 or 1310 or on the Radio Pup app or at WOBMAM.com, 732-505-1160. 1160 to join the conversation uh here with dr adam repaul obgyn community medical center uh so tell us a little bit your practice is changing it's, it's morphing well it, it's growing, <clears throat> it evolving. actually has morphed and evolved over the past few years uh like i said you know earlier we, we have uh had a presence in uh lakewood and toms river for well over 50 years and a few years back uh, we merged with uh, another practice uh, called uh, Women's Health Associates, and we brought on a, a, a new doctor, Dr. Steve Colbert, and we brought uh, on board five nurse midwives. Uh, I'm going to mention their names, Karen Carolla, Mary Breitweiser, Andrea Lindstrom, <clears throat> uh, Lori Sherman, and Katie Connolly. Right. Okay, so I nice. got them all. Good I got them all. That was strong. And they're all excellent practitioners and we basically put together a, a collaborative practice which was uh, again midwives and doctors together taking care of obstetric patients and uh, really giving the patients the benefits of, of both worlds. At that time we, we uh, you know the labor unit at Kimball closed and we transferred uh, our services to Community Medical Center. We've been there about two years now. Um, we're part of the Barnabas Health Medical Group um, and uh, we have our main office on Route 70 in Lakewood, but we are actually uh, about to open a brand new office on Lakehurst Road in Tom's River. Coolio. Yes, uh, brandy new. It's being fit up as we speak and should be ready to see patients there, uh, you know, within the next few months. We do have a, uh, an office on Lakehurst Road, uh, but we've outgrown it due to our 
you know, our, our patient volume and the fact that we have a lot of practitioners available to see patients. Uh, we do have a mammography service that we are going to be teaming up with the Jacqueline Wilentz Breast Center, which is, I believe, the premier, um, you know, breast imaging center in Monmouth and Ocean County. Uh, we're going to be uh, starting evening hours, one day a week. Um, you know, so that's going to make it a, a more uh, convenient for our working patients. Very often, we will be able to provide same-day emergency appointments for patients, which is convenient. And uh, we, I can tell you with confidence that our practice probably has the lowest C-section rate in the state. Right. And probably one of the highest, uh, most successful VBAC rates in the state. What is that? What is a VBAC? Is uh, stands for a vaginal birth after cesarean section. Got it. And we we promote this. What does that mean, though? Well, one so of that the, means you're <clears throat> if you're set, you you may have had, had a, a C-section, C-section with your with a child previously. Correct. Because I, I always thought that once you <clears throat> went C-section, you could never go back. Well, that had been a philosophy for a period of time. I mean. Uh, you know, uh, cesarean. One of the biggest um, pushes that that the American College of OBGYN is trying to uh, impart upon its practitioners is to reduce cesarean section rates. And what we what, what they're pr- really trying to do is reduce primary cesarean section rates. That means the first cesarean right, section right, right. rate, and because once a, a patient has had a cesarean section and they want to have other children then very often they're not given the opportunity to have a vaginal delivery after that first cesarean section. There are some small risks involved, but, you know, in the right, uh, with the right care, uh, I'd say about 70% of women will have a successful vaginal birth after a cesarean section with the proper care and management. So they have an excellent chance of of achieving that goal. The the issue with C-sections, it's a major surgery. Sure. Longer recovery. They use more uh, hospital resources, long, longer hospital stays. And if we can, you know, if a patient can have an, a natural vaginal sure. delivery, quicker recovery, can take care of their baby, they're out of the hospital sooner. Um, and, you know, it, it's better for everyone. Sure. Okay. Cool. And, and, we, and we do have patients who like to have lots of babies. Yes. I Listen, understood. <clears throat> so, and, and by the way, uh, folks <clears throat> can learn more about your practice at www.ocean.com. G-Y-N-O-B dot com. That's my website. That's the website. That and you you are and there you are at the top of the stairs. You're like the you're like you just like ran into the picture just in time. I'm looming thing. down, yes. Yes. That's good. Uh so so uh so Dr. Repol, at this point, uh, you know, we like to we like to give you the wake up with Jeremy Grunin magic wand. Right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes. Yes, because okay, so I'm maybe ready for your wand. maybe you maybe you and I have had this th- made a joke about this at some point having an adult beverage, you know, on an, <clears throat> at, at, when we're not on the air. Correct. Um but now we are on the air and you know, we want to do the right thing here, Dr. Repol. Yes. So, uh now that I've given you the magic wand, my magic wand, my pixie dust, my fairy dust. Okay. I'm giving you the ability to just wiggle your little nose and do something special. What is it you're going to do? I don't know. Do we have a 15 second delay here, right? We is do that, have a 15 uh, okay. second delay. But I'm going to be I'm going to be very serious about okay. this. Okay. Um, you know, the with the recent uh, Barnabas uh, Robert Wood Johnson merger that uh, we're all aware of. Uh, you know, I, I my my magic wand would be to to take our um, labor and delivery and mother health uh, uh, unit to the next level. You know, I, I'd love to see. And, you know, again, this is not something that I uh, I know is going to happen or not. But to me, you know, we have 2,400 deliveries a year at Community Medical Center now. Uh, I could see us, you know, expanding that volume. I could see us uh, possibly having a, a neonatal intensive care unit at, the, at Community Center years down the road, uh, having... Uh, academic uh, uh, chairman and maybe even uh, fellows there, you know, make it a more uh, more of a teaching center. In fact, I may have had this conversation with uh, with with an elder Grunin years ago that he he had this vision for the hospital. Right. Uh, you know, he and I go w- way back. We went to Brooklyn College together. Well, not together exactly. <laughs> Not together. Well, we need to sing the Brooklyn College fight song together one day. No, we're not singing the Brooklyn College fight song. Let's, <laughs> let's move along. No, but I, but that's what I see. I mean, I think that would be the natural evolution 
of of what I could see happening to um, uh, our our labor and delivery and uh, unit. Right. And, and to me, you know, I think that would be a, a great thing for Ocean County. I think it would make, you know, I think right now community is the premier, you know, uh, labor and delivery uh, unit in the county. Sure. And I believe that, you know, it can take steps uh, moving forward and make it even greater. That's awesome. Uh, and, I, I, you know, I, I will not... You know, hopefully my dad isn't listening because I don't know that he likes being referred to as the elder Grunin, you know, because he's very uh, he's he's very he you know, he looks younger than me anyway. He's certainly he's a good looking younger. dude. Yeah, he's actually more <clears throat> he's certainly more athletic and more physically fit than I am. So, uh, you know, but that's that's enough of that. Anyway, Dr. Adam Repol, uh, doctor, thank you so much for spending some time with us. It's and my for, pleasure. Uh, and for, uh, you know, for dropping your voluminous uh, uh, knowledge on the uh, the art of of delivering babies. Uh, it is in, an art. Yes. And uh, and uh, listen, hopefully you won't be a stranger to the show, and we will see you again soon. I'll be happy to come back anytime, Jeremy. Awesome. Dr. Adam Repol, Community Medical Center. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin back after this.